It's very important to keep information about your customers, such as names, phone numbers, email addresses. Uh, we use this information pretty much to do follow-ups for customers. Um, one of the practices that we have at SATA Computers is that when we sell an item to a customer, we pretty much call them within seven days and find out if their product is still working. We try to make sure that you know they're pleased with their products. And this kind of builds a relationship between our company and our customers. Now, to access the customer information, we can either select the first name, last name, or phone number. By default, for every sale, it displays a walk-in customer. So I'm just going to select that. And this would be the information that we can save for every customer. I'm going to press the new button. And let's say this is a new customer. I'm just typing in the name. And it shows us for the first name that we have all these clients already in there as customers. I'm going to go to last name. And notice, as I'm typing, it's filtering out our customer list. So we already have a Charles Sweeting in there. But I'm going to change the name slightly. And see, it's all gone. And then I'm going to put my phone number in there. And I'm going to put my email address. And I'm going to put my address. And once you have this information for the clients, you know, you can do follow ups. You can allow the system to email um, these clients on updates and different sales, stuff like that. So I'm going to press update. So are you sure you want to add a new customer? Yes. So we have a new customer. And I'm just going to press use this customer. So now you have Charles Sweeting, and there's a phone number. If I use the wrong or selected the wrong customer, I can go back here and go back and select the proper, the correct customer. And there you have it the first name, the last name, the phone number, and the additional profile which we would have used at an earlier point.